The reason I wrote this book is because I thought there needs to be awareness uh, for a lot of reasons. One, to salute the strong, resilient, self-reliant people of Mississippi who did bear the brunt of the hurricane, got knocked down flat. But they got right back up and hitched up their bridges and went to work. They, they went to work helping themselves, but also helping their neighbors and rebuilding their communities. My, my daddy died when I was two, and my mother raised my two older brothers and me. And she used to say that crisis brings out the best in most people. And I saw that over and over and over again in Mississippi. Of people like the family that my wife came upon uh, just above Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, Martian two highway patrolmen turned around the curve and there was a double wide trailer that she said looked like a beer can that somebody had twisted up in their fists. And standing in the front yard was a man and two little children, toddlers. So Marsha had a bunch of stuff in the truck and pulled over and started giving them stuff. And the man's very grateful, very nice. Turns out in that double wide actually was a man and his wife and their six children that the wife and four children had gone to scavenge. This was on Friday after the storm on Monday and they were gone to look for food. And so the highway patrolman are taking stuff out, setting it down. Finally, the man says, hey, that that's enough for us. Uh, thank you, you know. And, and the trooper said, oh, mister, we got plenty more. He starts to get something else out, and the guy said, well, look, if you got plenty more, don't give it to us. There's a little old lady who lives across the road who's a shut-in, and I know nobody has gone over there to help her. Take this to, take this to her. And Mike Cooper, the power patrolman, said, smile, and he said, we will, we will, but look, we got plenty here. The guy stopped him again. He said, if you really got plenty, if you go down this road about a quarter of a mile, there's a dirt road that turns back sharp to the right. There are five or six families that live down that dirt road, and I know nobody's found them. Now, here's a guy that didn't have anything before the storm, lost what little he had, and he's worried about the little old lady across the road who's a shut-in. Now, that's a story that we Americans ought to be proud of because that was far and away more typical of what I saw than what you saw on television. Because the news media didn't think that was newsworthy. But in fact, it happened time and time and time again.